a slice of cheese, an apple or a chocolate bar. All these delicious food we eat has to be always turned down before they get into our digestive system. Mastication, that is chewing, is one of the most important commencing steps of digestion. And our teeth helps in this process. They help in biting, chewing and grinding the food we eat. To understand teeth, let us begin with the structure of typical tooth. A tooth consists of two main regions. One is above the gum surface and other is present below it. So what are gums? Gums are the soft tissue linings in the mouth and they are called gingiva. Gums appear to be hard and they are tightly bound to the bones under soft tissues. And they are also made up of soft tissues. That's why they are also called soft tissue linings. Gums act as an anchoring point for our teeth and also helps teeth in holding their positions firmly. The upper part of tooth above the gums is called as crown and it is also referred to as crown of our tooth. This part is exposed to all kind of food particles which also encounters microbes as well. It needs to be well protected. Hence, it is coated with an extremely hard covering named enamel. Enamel is the hardest tissue in the human body. There is a layer which is softer than enamel and it's called dentine. It's a tissue that forms the tooth from dental crown to the tooth root. A small tube filled with tissue fluid, it is called the dentinal tubule, runs inside the dentine. It works as a bridge between the crown at the top and the root area of the tooth. Now you may get amazed to see that, just like plant roots, our tooth also have roots. Roots helps in anchoring the tooth formally in the sockets of the gums. Now let's talk about this part of tooth. The portion is called pulp and there is a reason behind this term. Pulp is a fleshy area which is richly supplied with blood vessels and nerves. This region sends direct signals to brain. So whenever we have pain, brain gets its signal from this region. Also, blood vessels in this pulp help in nourishing the tooth. Then there is a cementum, which is a tough layer and it helps in covering the root. Do you know its hardness is similar to the bone? Now what is a periodontal ligament? Basically, it's tissue which consists mainly of fibrous tissue, which helps in connecting tooth root and alveolar bone. So it helps in reducing the force of tooth directly on alveolar bone while chewing food. Alveolar bone, this bone supports the tooth. When a large part of alveolar bone is destroyed by periodontal disease, the tooth becomes loose. As you can notice here, the structure widely spread across the complete root of the tooth. So today, we learned about structure of tooth.